Science Agent Swam Fam, your choice, Simon A. And this is kind of an update video to a video I made last year called Mr. Beast Five Years Later. Okay, so it all started back in 2018 when Arish101 commented on a video of mine saying that he wants me to make a video about Mr. Beast, alleging that he makes fun of innocent YouTube channels, doesn't respect people's opinions, and doesn't have common sense. So he wanted me to make a video criticizing Mr. Beast big and hard. <laughs> big and hard. Anyways, so I did. I did make a video about Mr. Beast. Five years later. Now, it wasn't intentional. I never really planned to make a video about Mr. Beast because, well, back then, I didn't even know who the fuck he was. But neither of us predicted that Mr. Beast would eventually go on to become the most subscribed individual YouTuber in the world. Literally the biggest YouTube channel on the face of the planet. This dude literally started a fucking empire. In the original video, I took the time to talk about the stuff that Mr. Beast does nowadays, which includes those crazy challenges and all those money videos and even philanthropy stuff he did. And I ended the video by saying this. I guess all I can say is that uh, Mr. Beast, uh, he changed YouTube. That's all I can say. But he's not a piece of shit, so that's good. Yeah, he gets a thumbs up from me. That did not exactly age very well. Why? Because throughout this year, Mr. Beast has been getting a lot of allegations against him. And obviously, I'm not the, I'm not like a, a commentary YouTube channel. I don't really talk about these kinds of things. So I can't really explain in great detail what these allegations are. You're probably going to have to search them up on YouTube. There's a ton of videos that talk about it a lot better than I can. Basically, basically, there's a lot of stuff coming out against Mr. Beast, including the fact that like some of the people working for him had like groomed minors, one of them including Ava Chris Tyson. Also, allegations that Mr. Beast like faked his videos, you know, those like contests and like big prizes and all that shit, and even accusations of former employees being mistreated. Not to mention allegations of an unsafe work environment. Yeah, it's it's a lot to take in. I mean, people, I guess, a lot of people consider Mr. Beast to be, like, a, like the, the right person to become famous on account of, like, he used a lot of his money and stuff to make the world a better place, you know, his philanthropy. But now, with all these allegations, a lot of people are turning against Mr. Beast. I think, hell, even recently, he collabed with Logan Paul and KSI on a brand called Lunchly which I guess is supposed to be their own take on Lunchables that they claim is healthier for kids and stuff. And apparently it's not. Hell, there's literally mold in the food, which, is, which isn't exactly healthy. I mean, it, it's literally common sense. Overall, I think it's pretty self-explanatory that a lot of people are looking at Mr. Beast differently now. Now, they are just allegations, but they're pretty serious nonetheless. So, I guess I did make a video criticizing Mr. Beast big and hard. <laughs> so, you're welcome, Arish, I guess. <laughs> yeah. For me personally, even though Mr. Beast is the most subscribed YouTuber in the world, the true king of YouTube will always be PewDiePie. Because he didn't get his following by... Doing all these crazy stunts and whatever. You know, not flashing a shit ton of money or whatever. He was just being himself. He was having fun. He was being funny. He was playing video games. He did all, he did all kinds of cool shit. And it, it, it earned him over 100 million subscribers. And I think he deserves it. And these days, he doesn't even care about making YouTube videos that much. I mean, he still posts. But now he's just focusing on his family. And I think that's... That's very commendable. I mean, because for me, if you if you're not having fun while you're making content, if you're not being yourself, if you're not doing what you want to do, then what's the whole point of like making content? And I think Mr. Beast he changed he changed YouTube, not necessarily for the better though, because now people think that like a lot of people think they have to like do all these crazy stunts and whatever, just to like get a following as big as him. Well, obviously, that's not the case. YouTube's algorithm is pretty fucking stupid.
But then again, so is YouTube itself, so I'm not even surprised anymore. And that's all I have to say about that.